Hi, Steve Adams from Upfront Info. Last week I reviewed the Voicely text-to-speech software from Vidtoon. I'll include a link to the video up here somewhere. I'm pleased to say they watched my video and their quality manager emailed me to address some of the issues I raised in the review. They fixed some of the bugs I mentioned and the V3 voices are now working fine. In this video I'll provide a quick update to my thoughts on the software and I'll run through a few of the V3 and other neural voices. One of the things I didn't spot previously when I was doing the earlier review is tucked away down in the frequently asked questions under are there any hidden fees it says Voicely offers unlimited basic voices. Now I'm not suggesting for a second that you're going to want to use the basic voice for your voiceover on your video but they can come in useful as one of the things I'd identified previously was that you're going to use up credits when you're editing any of the issues within your text. So let me just play through this bit and I'll actually do it with the basic so I'll go for the basic male voice. And you'll see here when I generate the text to speech that it doesn't actually charge me any credits. Now if we just play that through. Hi, I am one of the basic voices available in Voicely. You will not get charged credits when you use my voice to generate speech. Okay, so it sounds very robotic there. But if you notice, I missed out a full stop after Voicely before you. So if I change that. And now I generate the speech again. Hi, I am one of the basic voices available in Voicely. You will not get charged credits when you use my voice to generate speech. So I was able to identify that there was an issue in the text, correct that and not get charged for it, which is one of the big bugbears I had previously in the fact that you're going to get charged credits before you've actually created your final cut of the text. So with the corrected version of my speech, I'll scroll down and I'll select, I'll go for Ryan, select him, and I can generate the text to speech. It would charge me the credits this time. And now we can play it. Hi, I am one of the basic voices available in Voicely. You will not get charged credits when you use my voice to generate speech. And so that saved us having to pay the credits out before we put the full stop in the middle of the of the text there. Now there is still an issue in that the basic voices don't have the say as button. So if you're going to want to include any of the say as bits, so say I switch down to Harry, I can't actually test that beforehand with the with the basic voice. So it's not going to work there. So you're still going to get charged credits trying to work out if you're going to put any page breaks and do anything particularly with addresses or telephone numbers, etc., like that, that you get under the say as. I've been delving a little bit deeper into the different voices available within Voicely. And as the sales page says, there's four different types of voices that they actually use within the software. So if I click on the text to speech voice bit here, the first ones are the two basic ones, which I've just covered. Then you come on to the standard voices. All these ones here are all Google WaveNet. And then we go down as far as Amy. So these four here, they're Amazon Poly voices. Then we go on to the natural ones, and the top ones of the natural voices are, first of all, Microsoft Azure voices, so these top ones here. And then when you get down to the ones with the V3 by them, those are IBM Watson voices. So that just explains a little bit how they are. Now what you'll find is, with the V3 and the, new, the ones marked up as neural, those ones there with the Microsoft Azure, and then these ones here for the Google WaveNet, the neural ones, you get 25,000 characters for each credit that you have. And with the standard voices, that's doubled up to 50,000 characters for each credit. Personally, I think the neural ones sound much better than the standard ones. But obviously, when you're paying for the credits, they're going to be twice as expensive. So you need to take that into consideration. One thing I highlighted in my previous review video was the fact that with the speed, it only goes up in 0.1 increments. So 1, 1.1, 1.2, etc. Now Vidtoon replied on that one to say, for the text-to-speech speed option, unfortunately the way it is displayed in the app is the only way we can do it. There isn't any other way to select between 0.9 and 1, for example. That's a limitation that's imposed because of the IBM Watson voices, but it doesn't really apply to the Google WaveNet or the Amazon Poly. So it'd be good if they could actually vary that so that depending on which voice you selected, it allowed you to have better fine tuning on it. A software such as Talkio will allow you to go up in 0 0.04 increments. So you could have 1.04, 1.08, 1.09, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, etc. 
1.12, etc., like that. So they give finer adjustments on that. But because they've got the IBM Watson included in that, and the limitation is 0.1 on there, they do they do that for all the voices, which I'm sure it wouldn't take a lot of programming to change that, given that they've got the full scale there. Another thing I highlighted in my previous review is if you're adding a soundtrack to the timeline, click on soundtrack. If I want to preview the soundtrack, if first of all I select ambient and listen to that one. And if I think, okay, I don't want ambient, so I'll go and select one of the other ones. So let's go for beach day. You'll see now it's actually regenerated. So if I now hit the play button, it's now correctly playing beach day, whereas beforehand it would still play ambient. And it's good that having watched my previous review, they, they responded very quickly to get that fixed. Before I demonstrate some of the neural voices available within Voicely, I want to address the elephant in the room, which is the credit system. Let's say it's a $49 one-time payment to get Voicely. And if we scroll down a bit, under the frequently asked questions, they say there's no hidden fees. Voicely offers up to 10 hours of voices for 50 credits. So that's 50 credits you get within your initial purchase of standard and natural voices. If you want more than the 10 hours, then you have to pay additional credits for them. And they start from $99 for a thousand extra credits. Okay, so let's do some of the maths on that. I'll flick back to the Voicely app and I've got in here some text. Now what I'll do is I'll just highlight that and I'll copy it and I'll go over to a character count web page and I'll paste that in. You see we've got 399 characters. Okay, so I'll just flip back again. And I'll generate that. Okay, so we've still got Ryan there, so we'll use him and we'll do the generate. You see that's going to take 23 seconds. So let's see how much audio time that will give for us if we scroll it up to the 50 credits we get for the initial purchase. With the standard voices, one credit will buy you 5,000 characters, and with the newer voices, one credit will buy you 2,500 characters. So our 399 characters equal 23 seconds of audio. So if I scale that up to one minute, that would be 1,041 characters. Using standard voices, with the initial 50 credits that they provide you, that's 50 times 5,000, or 250,000 characters. If we then divide that 250,000 by our 1,041 characters, that gives us 240 minutes, or approximately four hours, rather than the 10 hours that they, they state. And then obviously if you use the neural voices, that will only be half of that, so you only get about two hours. That's only one fifth of the amount that they're actually telling you you're gonna get. So your initial purchase, if you're $49, you get two hours of audio, or four hours if you're using the not so good standard voices. So I'd say you really wanna be using the newer ones. That'd be the whole point of buying the Voicely software. You're only gonna get roughly around two hours, give or take a little bit of time. So then you'll have to pay for additional credits, which it works out as $99 for a thousand credits. So don't look at it as being $49 and that being it as they say it is on the sales page. So let's use the same basis to see how much audio you'd get by paying for your $99 additional credits. So again, we're using the basis of one credit equals 5,000 characters for standard and one credit equals 2,500 characters for the neural. So we've got our 1,041 characters for one minute of audio. So 1,000 credits will provide 1,000 times 5,000 characters, which is 5 million characters. So you divide the 5 million by the 1,041 that we have here, which gives us 4,803 minutes which is approximately 80 hours. If you're doing the standard ones, you'll get 80 hours worth of audio for your $99 credit purchase. And likewise with a neural, you're getting half the number of characters, so you'll get approximately 40 hours, give or take, depending on how fast or slow the, the voice actually talks. Okay, to round things off, I'll play you some of the neural voices that are available within Voicely. I'll start off with a few of the English UK ones, and then I'll play a few of the English US ones. Hi, my name is Libby. I am one of the neural voices available in Voicely. You can use me as the voiceover for your videos. Hi, my name is Ryan. I am one of the neural voices available in Voicely. You can use me as the voiceover for your videos. Hi, my name is James. I am one of the neural voices available in Voicely. You can use me as the voiceover for your videos.
Hi, my name is Kate. I am one of the neural voices available in Voicely. You can use me as the voiceover for your videos. Hi, my name is Sammy. I am one of the neural voices available in Voicely. You can use me as the voiceover for your videos. Hi, my name is Steve. I am one of the neural voices available in Voicely. You can use me as the voiceover for your videos. Hi, my name is Guy. I am one of the neural voices available in Voicely. You can use me as the voiceover for your videos. Hi, my name is Jenny. I am one of the neural voices available in Voicely. You can use me as the voiceover for your videos. Hi, my name is Allison. I am one of the neural voices available in Voicely. You can use me as the voiceover for your videos. Hi, my name is Emily. I am one of the neural voices available in Voicely. You can use me as the voiceover for your videos. Hi, my name is Henry. I am one of the neural voices available in Voicely. You can use me as the voiceover for your videos. Hi, my name is Kevin. I am one of the neural voices available in Voicely. You can use me as the voiceover for your videos. Hi, my name is Lisa. I am one of the neural voices available in Voicely. You can use me as the voiceover for your videos. Hi, my name is Michael. I am one of the neural voices available in Voicely. You can use me as the voiceover for your videos. Hi, my name is Olivia. I am one of the neural voices available in Voicely. You can use me as the voiceover for your videos. Okay, so that was just a few examples of the neural voices available within Voicely. Personally, I think the Microsoft Azure and the IBM Watson voices are better than those for Google WaveNet and Amazon Polly. And so that's the advantage that Voicely has over the likes of Speechello and Talkia. If you want to listen to the full list of them, you can actually go to the Microsoft Azure and the IBM Watson websites and try them out. Let me just flick over and show you these. We'll first look at the Microsoft Azure. And you can see here that you can actually select the language you want, the voice you want. So they're the neural ones there, which are the ones I think sound the best. And you can change the speed and the pitch. I've selected Mia here, so let's just play Mia. Hi, my name is Mia. I am one of the V3 voices available in Voicely. You can use me for the voiceover for your videos. So as I say, these are all the voices that are actually included in Voicely. So if you want to see what you will actually be getting within there, then come to this website. The URL is at the top here, but I'll also paste it in the description below. So if then we flick over to the IBM Watson site. Now I'm actually running Safari here, and it doesn't seem to allow me to generate the speech. So if I click speak there. You see, like nothing happens. But I'll just show you all the different voices that are here. As I say, these are all the ones that you'll be able to get. There's the V3 ones, the V3s, and the, the normal ones. I think the V3 ones are much better than just the normal ones. As I say, this doesn't work in Safari, but if I just flick over to Google. Okay, here's the page now in Google. So if I click on the Speak button now. Hi, my name is Kevin. I am one of the V3 voices available in Voicely. You can use me for the voiceover for your videos. And again, you've got all the all the different ones. So these will be all the ones that you can actually listen to within Voicely. Each time you change the voice, you'll need to actually paste the text back in again. Hi, my name is James. I'm one of the V3 voices available in Voicely. You can use me for the voiceover for your videos. And the good thing about the IBM Watson one is that if you right click on the play button after it's played, you can actually save the file. And so you can save that to your computer. I've not really tried how much text you can actually put in there, but you could say, well, <laughs> do you really need voice? So you can just type your text in here and create your voiceovers just using this website. I'll put the link in the description below. 
So I do really like the Voicely software. I think the IBM Watson and the Microsoft Azure Voices are the better voices for the text-to-speech. And I guess at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Their sales page is a bit misleading when it comes to the comparison with Speechello and Talkia in the fact that they say theirs is a one-time fee and the others are recurring. Voicely is a one-time fee of $49. You're going to get somewhere between two and four hours worth of audio from that and then you're going to have to pay $99 for extra credits. As I mentioned in my comparison video between Talkia and Speechello, you can get the standard version of Talkia for one-off fee of $67 and then you can get the upgrade to Enterprise for $97 per year. So that's equivalent to the $99 for 1,000 credits for Voicely. So if you're going to use less than 1,000 credits per year, then it's pretty much the two of those are pretty much on par and you get the better voices with Voicely. Speechello, you can get that on a one-off pay of 37 for the standard and then the, when I bought it the upgrade to Pro was available for a one-off fee of $127 for a lifetime upgrade. As I say with Talkia and Speechello you don't get the IBM Watson and you don't get the Microsoft Azure but there again you might be able to get all the IBM Watson ones just from the IBM site. Okay I hope you found this update useful if you did please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ding the bell to get notified when I upload future videos.